Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another terrible episode. Today we're going to talk about solving two-step equations. These ones are a little bit more difficult and require a little bit more thinking, but all in all it's the same process as one-step equations. Your objective for this video is as a student you should be able to solve two-step equations. Shocker. Alright, so you will need graphic organizer number three. Okay, and it should say two step equations here at the top, not one. It should say two step equations. And you will be on side number one, the only side of that graphic organizer. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, here's the deal. You need to keep calm and PEMDAS backwards. So here's what we need to do. Anytime you are dealing with multiple operations in an equation, okay, and you need to solve it, what you're actually going to deal with is you are going to do PEMDAS backwards. Okay, and that is because we're unraveling an equation and we're going to solve it. So instead of going parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, subtract, you're actually going to start from the bottom and you're going to work your way up. Meaning that you're going to start with adding and subtraction. And then you're going to do multiplying and dividing, then exponents, then parentheses if they have any. Okay, and granted, you won't see those for a really long time. So I'm going to show you how it gets started. All right? All right, so look at our first example. Remember, when we see an equation, the first thing we always want to do is draw our line. The second thing we always want to do is find our variable, and that one happens to be right there. Now, remember, we want to do order of operations backwards. So I'm going to rewrite that up here just so I have it. Okay? And if you look, we have adding and subtraction at the bottom, and we want to work our way up this time. Order of operations backwards. All right. So if you look, add and subtraction. Okay. Add and subtract. Well, we do have an add or subtract. We have a plus seven. So we're going to do the opposite of plus seven, which is minus seven from both sides. We're going to subtract seven. That gives us eight n because seven minus seven is zero, so it goes away. And thirty-one minus seven is twenty-four. Now we are not done because now it's a one-step equation that we need to solve. Now we can do our opposite of multiplying. Okay, So the opposite or the inverse of multiplying by 8 is dividing by 8. We divide both sides by 8 and that should give us n equals 3 and that is your answer. You can go ahead and put it back in. You can always check your answer. You should. We're going to move on. Okay, Draw my line. Identify my variable. It's on the left side. It's 9n minus 9. What do we need to do? Well, we need to do the opposite and we need to go in the reverse order of PEMDAS. So we need to do the opposite of subtracting 9, which is adding 9. So we're going to add 9 to both sides. That gives us 9n equals 18. And now that's a one-step equation. We're going to go ahead and solve. Okay. Remember, we have the 9 attached to the n. 9 next to n means multiply. We're going to do the opposite of multiplying, which is dividing. We're going to divide both by 9. Remember, we use fraction bars, n equals 2, okay? and that is our answer, n equals 2. All right, this one looks a little bit different, but we're going to do the same exact thing, draw our line. Okay? Remember, we do adding and subtraction first this time, okay? so we're going to do the opposite of subtracting 10, which is adding 10. We're going to add 10 to both sides. That gives us n divided by 2 equals 16. Now, this one right here that we have in the box, we need to do next. That means divide. We need to do the opposite of divide, which is multiply. We're going to multiply by how many? 2. We're going to multiply both sides by 2. And that gives us n equals 16 times 2 is 32. And that is our correct answer. That is examples 1 through 3. We have two more to go. All right, example number 4 and 5. Okay, first thing we do, we draw our line. Next thing we do, okay, we're going to do the order of operations backwards, but we need to find our variable. It's right here with the 4. Okay, what's attached to it? Well, if you remember, subtraction minus 5. We need to do the opposite of minus 5, which is plus 5. We do that to both sides. 15 plus 5 gives us 20 equals 4m. 5 plus 5 is 0, so it goes away. Now, we need to go ahead and get rid of that 4m because we want the variable by itself. So 4m means multiply. We need to do the opposite, which is divide. 20 divided by 4 equals 5 and m equals 5, and that is your answer. Last one. Okay. This one. Okay. This one looks a little funky and it's just trying to trick you. We need to go ahead and find our variable. It's right here on this side. Okay, this is a 2. Okay, This is a positive 2. What are we going to do to get rid of a positive 2 or a plus 2? We're going to subtract 2. So 
So we're going to go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides. 3 minus 2 gives us 1. That equals b over 4. What do I need to do? Well, I need to do the opposite of dividing by 4, which is multiplying by 4. And 1 times 4 is 4, and that's just going to drop down and be v. v equals 4. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your five examples. Now it's your turn to try some on your own. You need to do these six on your own, so pause this video. Pause it now. Pause it now. Pause it now. Okay, you should be back and ready to go. I'm going to go pretty quick. How do we go through it? Draw our line. Minus 6 from both sides. That would have given us 3x equals 18. Divide by 3. And that should have given you x equals 6. That is the correct answer. Number 2. Okay, draw our line. Subtract 10. Subtract 10. That gives us 4x equals 24. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. And that equals x equals 6. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your answer. Moving on to the next one. Draw our line minus 3 from both sides. That gives us 2x equals 16. We need to divide by 2 because we're going to do the opposite. And that gives us x equals 8. That should be your answer. Next one, number 4. Draw a line. Minus 8 from both sides. Yuck. Minus 8 from both sides. It gives us 6x equals 72. Okay, we need to do the opposite of multiplying by 6, which is divide by 6. Divide by 6, and that's going to give you x equals 12. All right, we have two left over. The two harder ones, here we go. Draw our line. Add 6 to both sides. That gives us x over 2 equals 18. That means divide by 2, so we need to multiply both sides by 2, and that gives us x equals 36. And that's your answer to that one. And our final independent practice, minus 8 from both sides. That gives us z over 5 equals 20. Okay, times 5 times 5. Wow, that's going to be a big number. Z equals 100, and that is your answer. Those are your six, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad. Okay, what do you need to remember? Order of operations backwards, and you always do the inverse or the opposite operation. Ladies and gentlemen, you have these two as your exit ticket. Good luck. Put them on your graphic organizer. Show them to Mr. Williams real quick. Make sure he's got them checked, and then you're going to go ahead and do worksheet number five. On that note, I'm out.